Hey, this is Stacy from Let's Cook, y'all. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we wanted to share our recent trip to Colonial Williamsburg along with eight tips that we hope you'll help you on your visit. Our first tip is to come early. We spent the night at a hotel in Williamsburg and then drove in right as the gates opened. Our second tip is to go ahead and purchase a one-day pass at the visitor center. We are veterans, so we were able to get a half-price ticket. Our next tip is to be sure and wear comfortable shoes. You're going to need to walk quite a bit. There's no flag, so I don't think it's open. I'm not sure where you are. I'm trying to figure out which ones are open and which ones are closed in this section of Williams Park. What is that? Apothecary. Apothecary is drugs. So it's the druggist. The drug dealer. The drug dealer. Um, do you do apprentice here? Or mm -hmm. here? We have the only apprenticeship in wheel writing left in the U.S. It just happens to be in this era of the trade. Can I take photos? Yeah. So when you, when you turn it, see how it starts off high? When you turn it, it's actually moving down. And see how it's moving down and actually sealing the bottle closed? So the water can't get out? So believe it or not, that actually works on exactly the same principle as this. But you all want to guess that. Yeah. So, so it's a screw mechanism. So as I pull this, turns the screw, forces the bottle wood down. So let's get some more ink on. And then that's actually pressing stamps. <coughs> Now again, I don't want to use my hands to press down. That's what the big block of wood is for. So move it under there, pull the lever, turns the screw, it's come down out of the nut there. See how it's come down out of there? And that's actually driving that downward. It's true, I wouldn't make that up, guys. I'm far too honest and cute to lie. True story. <laughs> Especially part about me being cute. This edition is 1965. I took the book apart because it was machine sewn, but as I was taking it apart, it was a good thing that I had these numbers. Out of uh, just raw iron, I think. They're forged out or, or brass with a, an iron handle. Our next tip is if you only have one day, be sure to hit all of the big houses. We'll show you what they are next. Governor's Palace, home to the British governor, built to impress and meant to show wealth and authority. Come on in. The pantry is on your left. The parlor is on your right. You may see those rooms, and when we're all in, I'll, I'll begin once more. Oh, yeah. 140 of them in the whole house. They continue as we go. But it's 300 swords, 230 muskets, and 18 pistols above your head. Um, don't think of this as an armory or something like that, a magazine. We have one of those actually. It's an original 18th century building. The so what we're going to do next is we're going to go upstairs and see the living quarters of the family. Of course, uh, most of our public uh, observers will be protected on the court. And the law says you have to. That looks very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. That looks very uncomfortable. Um, the issue is he was chosen by Parliament. <laughs> so it's kind of a, a sort of a, a wink and a nod to that sort of practice. We finished touring the governor's palace. We went to a separate building out back, which was the palace kitchen, to see a chocolate making demonstration. There were questions to curiosities that we have. Take off the top. Then you, uh, the inside is like the inside of a melon. Mm -hmm. Take out the seeds, put them on the jungle floor. Take about seven to ten days to, to ferment. And then when they're fermented, they look like that brown. They go brown, so you fill the next to cow plant. Then they obviously they get shift over. Now she is going to grind them, and eventually that fat that is in the seed will convert over into a liquid and we will have chocolate. And when it gets ready and made, we'll take it off the stone and make it into a little disc there. Mm -hmm. 
We saw carriages all over Colonial Williamsburg. I do not know how much they cost because we did not take a carriage ride, but there was open and enclosed carriages on all of the streets. The George With House, W-Y-E-T-H, With, one of the signers of the Declaration and once the mayor of Williamsburg, among other things. This house is original, the docent said. He said he was the first professor of law in our country and one of our founding fathers. And this is an original building, one of the best preserved in Williamsburg. And Thomas Jefferson's teacher. Thomas Jefferson's teacher. Extremely wealthy is right. Washington wealthy. Jefferson wealthy. With floors with a chamber pot. There's a place called Yorktown, and that's where our enemy, Lord Cornwallis, is to be found with his roughly 7,000 men. So we are making all of our plans right here in Williamsburg. And then when we are ready, we will march upon Yorktown and we will find the greatest victory in the war. A good plan? <laughs> now, if you look at this map, it is also of Williamsburg. You can see it says Williamsburg right there. So the, the people that did his sermon, he died. But she decided to change it by creating them a day after the year that he had died. So she waited to the exact year because the slaves knew that they were free because that blood was red on, on his Sadly, we were not able to go inside the parish church. It was closed that day, I believe for a funeral. You can do an awful lot of walking at Williamsburg. This is looking down the palace green towards the governor's palace. Another carriage and another selfie. We had a lot of them, so I had to throw at least a couple more in. This is inside the courthouse. The houses that are open have flags out in front. Some of them don't, but the Peyton Randolph House does. Another one of the larger attraction is the Peyton Randolph House. He was the first president of the Continental Congress. Space. The room at the top of the steps, that is Peyton, Rand excuse me, that is Peyton and Betty Randolph's two nephews rooms. Their names are all that set up more for office hours than for dining, but the royal governor uses his dining room for old office hours. Mm, we stopped for lunch at the Raleigh Bakery. I got a sandwich and a brownie and a root beer and Tim got a sandwich and chips and we're sitting out on the picnic tables trying to find some shade because it's 90 something degrees. It is warm. It is very warm today. Smile for the camera. Another large attraction you'll need a ticket for is the Capitol which housed the House of Burgesses when this was the colony of Virginia. This building also has history during the Revolutionary War. Our next tip is to take in a nation builder speech. We were able to hear Patrick Henry. This is the first time that I've been back to Williamsburg in these 18 years, since the capital moved to Richmond town back in 1780. And I'm very pleased to see that the town, despite the capital moving, still continues to flourish. A pleasure to see some of your faces again after all this time. Why, well, madam, it's been close to 20 years now. As they have expressed an interest in entering into a land partnership with me, I've uh, spent these past couple of days in Norfolk County, a two-day ride to the south and east of here, I'm looking at a tract of land which is known as the Green Sea, so called by the local inhabitants because it's swampland. We saved the best one for last. Be sure to stay until 5 o'clock for the fife and drums.
really enjoyed our visit to Colonial Williamsburg, and we hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for stopping by. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We've got some more vacation videos coming soon. Have a wonderful and blessed day, y'all.